This is a carbon atom. It is found in every living thing. Without carbon, we would not exist. This is an oxygen atom. It is found in every living thing. Without oxygen, we would not exist. But when one carbon and one oxygen are bonded, you have a deadly compound. This is called carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is produced by the incomplete burning of carbon-containing fuels, such as coal, gasoline, wood, charcoal, and propane. When there's not enough air, only half as much oxygen adds to the carbon, forming carbon monoxide instead of carbon dioxide. For example, this equation shows what happens when there's incomplete combustion of natural gas. When there's two molecules of natural gas combined with three molecules of oxygen, this yields two molecules of carbon monoxide and four molecules of water. Incomplete combustion yielding carbon monoxide can be produced in common household appliances such as furnaces, hot water heaters, fireplaces, gas stoves, wood burning stoves, dryers, and vehicles. So how does this colorless, odorless gas kill people? Carbon monoxide tricks the hemoglobin in the blood into mistaking it for oxygen and bonds with it, essentially starving the body of oxygen, killing cells, and shutting down vital organs. Hemoglobin is a protein found in every red blood cell that is responsible for carrying oxygen through the blood stream, symbolized by HB. It is made up of four protein molecules, two alpha globulin chains and two beta globulin chains. When hemoglobin is bonded with oxygen, it is called carboxyhemoglobin. But when it is bonded with carbon monoxide, it is called carbon monoxyhemoglobin. The bond between carbon monoxide and hemoglobin is 200 times stronger than that of oxygen and hemoglobin. When oxygen is displaced by carbon monoxide, the body is starved from oxygen and cells begin to die. Symptoms will appear once carbon monoxide in one's blood reaches the level of 70 parts per milliliter. In mild cases, the symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning are lightheadedness, nausea, headache, and confusion. Another symptom is a red face because the carbon monoxy hemoglobin that is formed is more red than regular hemoglobin. More severe cases can lead to brain damage and death by toxicity of central nervous system and heart. To see more of my project and other projects like this, visit this website.